Hey everybody, welcome to this shortwave radio channel and this is uh, tip number 34 and it actually has to do with something that a lot of people are wondering why is FM available on some desktop, high-end desktop radios for shortwave. So of course one of the first radios I've had in my life that had FM mode on the shortwave band was my Kenwood R5000 and it had that FM button and for a long time I thought everything on shortwave was either AM or single sideband and there was really no other modes. Well, it turns out that FM also is available on shortwave. Now, it's not available everywhere and it has very specific uses where you can find some FM stuff. So where do you find FM on the shortwave bands? Uh, one of the first places that's very common for, especially for Europe, uh, the CB or out of band CB um, frequencies around 27, 28 megahertz, 26 to 28. There. That 2 megahertz range has a lot of out of banders that actually use um, modified equipment to transmit there. Now, in Europe, it is very common that some of these signals are actually in FM mode. Uh, in North America, most of them are either sideband or AM. But if you actually have European signals coming in, don't be surprised to see some FM in there. There are some signals in FM mode. Also, Studio 2 transmitter links that are in the 25, 26 megahertz range. So anywhere from about 25, 800 to 26, 500 in that little range there. There are quite a few stations, radio stations and TV stations in the United States that actually have low powered FM relays, they basically relay the audio from a studio, for example, to the transmitter site. Now these are most of the time in FM to give it a better quality of audio. And of course, when skip happens, anywhere from 25, 800 to 26, 500, you will have some FM studio uh, transmitters that you'll hear. One here that I, I probably receive quite often um, when propagation is good is uh, Texas. I, there's a Texas transmitter around uh, 25, 9, 10, around there that I hear quite regularly. Often you'll hear what sounds like a, an AM or FM station on that band. And last but not least, amateur radio operators also use FM. And the most popular and important FM band in amateur radio is in the 10 meter band, the upper part of the 10 meter amateur band. 29,300 to 29,700. A lot of FM broadcast there. Amateur radio operators use FM mode. There's even some FM repeaters uh, from 29,600 to 29,700 that are used. So don't be surprised if you could hear FM there. Now you might think, well, I don't have an FM radio. I won't have the cash to buy a, you know, really expensive, expensive desktop. Uh, so I guess I can't listen to FM signals. Well, I got a little trick for you guys. Even on a portable radio that does not have FM, you can still listen to FM signals. It won't be as clear as listening listening to them on FM mode, but it actually will still be good enough for you to listen to the program or to whatever the signal is all about. You can actually use a little trick uh, with a regular portable receiver uh, when you're on AM mode. So no single sideband, AM mode. The trick is if you hear, for example, that Texas uh, studio transmitter link uh, is on 25910. If you want to listen to it with a portable like this, just tune a couple of kilohertz uh, on the side, under or over the frequency. So tune your radio Instead of 25,910, just detune it a little to uh, 25,907 or 908, or a little up, you know, just above uh, 912, 913, a couple, you know, two or three kilohertz off on either above or below the frequency. And you'll see that you can actually listen to the program. If there's talk, you'll be able to understand what you're saying. Like I said, it's a little distorted but it's clear enough that you'll be able to listen to whatever that signal has. So you can use that little trick 
to actually listen to FM signals, even on an AM only capable receiver or a uh, you know any radio that does not have FM available uh, as a mode for shortwave listening. Hey, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.